That is Kyrie. From Kyrie, we go to the one-time MVP who at times does it notoriously B.I.G. They call him K.D. Kevin, what stands out as, as most frustrating, disappointing, whatever word you want to use in terms of how this series has played out to this point? Um, losing. I'm just not making the right decisions. It's a lot of shit. But overall, we're just, we're just losing. With 11 shot attempts tonight, how much of that is the way that they're playing you, how you're reading the floor? Yeah, I feel like the first two games, I was trying to be too aggressive. You know, team that's loading up on me, that's trying to take me, take me out of all my actions. I felt like I was trying to still force it the first two games. And so I'm watching film, a lot of my teammates were open and they were knocking down shots. So I felt my approach to this game was to play off of everybody and play off the, the um, play, get, get in the floor of the offense and let the ball move and find me. And, uh, you know, that's just how I finished. I mean, I was, I felt like I was making solid reads. I felt like that uh, we had a good flow. I mean, probably should have took more shots, but I just tried to play the game the right way without being too aggressive or forcing turnovers. I didn't want to get no live ball ones, just playing one-on-one -on -one out at the top. I was just thinking too much, to be honest, this whole series, like how I'm going to approach the game, you know what I'm saying? So we got another game to play, you know, another opportunity, and I'm looking forward to that. Kevin, you just said you're overthinking too much. You see what I mean? Just, I guess, how do you get out of that? I mean, just trying to figure out where the help is coming from, where I'm gonna be, how I'm going to be guarded in certain actions, and where to make the right pass, when to be aggressive, when to let my teammates open it up for me. So sometimes, you know, basketball is when you just flow and you don't have to think about shit, you know. You don't have to worry about the little stuff, you know. And in my mind, I'm just trying to see how I can help everyone and how I can. And sometimes I end up taking myself out the game, you know. Kevin, this is twofold. I mean, it seemed like you were, you know, used a little more as a screener today, a little more as a decoy. I mean, was that, was that part of what was going into what you're discussing there? I mean, it's in the first two games, it just felt like, you know, it was just a lot of, it wasn't a lot of space for me to operate the score, so I didn't want to force it, like I said. And maybe that's the wrong decision coming into this game. I should have been probably more aggressive to score, but, um, I was just trying to play it the right way, you know, trying to read the game and let the game come to me. Kevin, I mean, we know what NBA history says about teams that are down 3-0 in the playoffs. Just what's the message from you or from anybody in that locker room to keep you guys high-spirited, even though the odds might say it's, it's futile at this point? I mean, we know what it is. I mean, I don't think no speech or anything to do at this part of the year. You know what it is. You know, we're down 3-0. We got another game. What's today? On Monday. Let's come out and play. Kevin, you've obviously been at at the center of scouting reports for years and years. What is it about this defense that is different than what you see maybe in the past? I just think they got more size than us. You know, they got six. Marcus Smart, the smallest guy in that lineup. I mean, he's six four. You know, so they swarm in a lot in the paint. What, what do you think you have to do to turn it around? Me? Yeah. Maybe shoot more. Maybe just be be smarter. You know, catch the ball closer to the rim and play faster. I mean, um, catch and shoot more. I'm trying to figure it out by watching film tomorrow. Katie, you've been playing 40 plus minutes ever since you came back from injury. Where's your energy level as, as fatigue set in? There was, I think nah, you were at the 40 minute mark with five minutes left. I don't think fatigue set in. I feel good playing. Like I'm not winded. My body doesn't hurt. I wouldn't blame it on that. I mean, you were saying you think you might be thinking too much in this series and just trying to make the right play and all that. Has that happened to you before in a playoff series before? And is this yeah, all most definitely, yeah. Yeah, I mean, every team I've been on, you're just trying to figure out the best way to play, you know. 
I mean, you got good teammates around you as well. You're trying to figure out. Uh, I try to figure out how I can be the best version of myself, but what, but and also not getting in my teammates' way. You know. Um, sometimes I think too much about it. Sometimes I just need to go out there and just no thoughts in my head and just play. It's just about the approach every night and the preparation. I feel like I prepare myself the right way. Um, it's a matter of the small decisions in the game that may not go in my favor. Um, I thought I found my teammates better than I did the like, first two games. Maybe I just need to score more. Kevin, uh, one of the things that Blake said, he felt that the spirit of the group wasn't where it should have been or needed to be coming into a game like this. Did, did you feel that way too? I mean, you could say that. You could say that for sure after a loss, you know. Um, I mean, we all want to win. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I guess you could say that after a loss. Kevin, is there anything that you saw from tonight or even the past two games that gives you confidence that you guys can get the thing clicking and continuity and overcome this 0-3 hole? Yeah, I mean, we found some good looks driving to the rim, kicking out. We played faster in transition and made shots tonight. I mean, we've been shooting solid against this team. That's the best defensive team in the league. And it's the third, second game with a shot over 50%, you know, so... Um, That's a shitty game, man. Shitty game.